Hi everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Today we're going to talk about December Daily. This is my first year that I am trying this. <laughs> I'm very new to it. Um, I feel quite like a Bambi on ice to be honest. I mean I'm mostly used to creating cards and I've done a lot of cards throughout my crafting life <laughs> and uh, making albums has never been something that I've been good at and I've never done it and therefore I've never done December Daily until this year. I am going to try and do December Daily 2019 and I'm really nervous <laughs> and the reason for that is because I'm just I feel like I don't have enough talent to do it. <laughs> it is very difficult but at the same time I'm trying to say to myself that it's just to relax, it's just fun. I don't need to make it look like Ali Edwards amazing um, December Daily albums that just looks you know perfect because she's been doing it for years and years and this is my first time and like I felt when I created my first card um, this is a little bit of the same feeling. <laughs> I have an idea in my head and it doesn't turn out that way. So yeah, it's a little bit uh, frustrating but also fun. Um, the album itself that I'm using I bought from Staples. It's an A5 um, folder that I have covered in lovely, lovely fabric. This fabric is super cute. If I turn the album around, you can see it a little bit better. But I mean, look at that. That is so adorable. It's very Christmassy, very kind of Scandinavian Christmassy. I cover the whole album with it. This was a black A5 planner from the start and I just covered it with the fabric. I created a front uh, page. Uh, kind of like the front of the album, which is actually a Christmas card that I found in a shop. And uh, it was meant to be like a Christmas card for a couple, but then I cut it apart, I made like a, a little border, and I added December 2019, and I added the flower on top, and some stars and glitter and stuff. And I think it turned out really cute actually. I'm happy with the planner. Um, it's not a planner. I'm happy with the binder and the album, um, but I'm finding the inserts the most difficult ones. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see how that works out in the end. <laughs> um, I used this beautiful kind of ribbon to tie the binder together and it says Merry Christmas and I think it's really, really cute. On the inside, of the album. I covered it with um, simple stories, kind of, it was a 12 by 12 sheet that I used um, and I cut it apart to cover kind of the, the ends um, of the fabric that's, you know, it's, it's not that pretty when you cover something but you need to cover it, especially like the ends of the fabric and stuff. And uh, yeah, I think the inside turned out great. The main thing then, <laughs> the inserts. This is really, really, really difficult because I want the style to be Christmassy but at the same time I don't want it to be kind of old-fashioned Christmassy. So I have been going through <laughs> a lot of papers. Literally I've been creating stuff and I'm not happy with this. This looks way too old-fashioned and I don't like it. I've been cutting out stuff in on my Cricut, I don't like it. <laughs> I've been doing stuff like this in Cricut and I don't like it. Um, I've been trying to do inserts and I just don't like it until I actually found this paper pad. And it's called Jolly Holidays by First Edition and I think it's perfect. It fits the album perfectly and I think, hopefully, <laughs> this um, is going to be much easier with, well, it's going to hopefully be much easier to create an album with this type of paper. Because look at it, it's quite modern and it's a little bit 
like Ali Edwardy over it. Quite uh, sleek and modern, and I think it would be nice with just the journaling and the photos and all of that. I I really like it, and um, therefore I am going with this. This is kind of the color. The colors I'm using and the type is going to be quite a modern, um, quite a modern planner. Why am I calling it a planner? It's not a planner, <laughs> a modern binder album kind of thing. I just love, I mean, look at that. That is so pretty. And the little snowman. And I just love that. It's so nice. I'm so glad that I found it because I found it so difficult to create inserts for this album. Because either you can do it like the old fashioned style, and then I'm like, mm, Ew. I don't know, it looked a little bit dated and I didn't like it until I find this. So hopefully I can make some really nice inserts with this. And um, I'm actually, I've actually ordered the plastic kind of um, photo inserts, which hopefully will be arriving any day. Um, so I can add it to my album as well. But this page I am keeping, it is a little bit old fashioned, but it's still quite nice. And I've got do not open until the 25th and then when you open it like that it's got this really cute kind of shaker penguin and then I can do loads of journaling and put pictures and stuff inside and on the other side it's got this kind of wooden um, wooden paper and I'm going to distress the pages not distress um, use my distress ink but I haven't um, done that yet. It's just in the making, this pretty much. It's, I'm glad it's not December yet. I've got two more weeks to do it. And um, yeah, <laughs> got some time left. And then I've got this green one. I'm not sure this will work with the Jolly Holiday paper pad, but um, for now it's just in here. And I think it's quite nice green. And that is the inserts I've done so far that I'm happy with. But obviously it will be a lot more inserts made with uh, the Jolly Holidays paper pad. Love it. I think it's really new and, and cute. And um, I'm actually using a lot of uh, tags and stuff I can found in shops. Not scrapbooky kind of tags, but more like Christmas tags. I love this. It's like this kind of little nutcracker man really sweet. I found these tags um, and these were so cheap. It was like a bunch of them for Christmas, more like for um, wrapping paper and things and I think they're so cute. Um, and they're like little shakers and a packet of these costed I think like 40 or 50 pence, which is nothing. I mean, I would, if this was like proper scrapbooking stuff, I would have paid a lot for it. But because it's Christmas now, it's, it's, it's not expensive at all, which is really nice. So I've got some of that and I'm going to use that inside the planner and just make little shaker tags and stuff. So that is my December daily. Well, this, the start of it, um, kind of I'm prepping and um, buying new little tags and stuff all the time <laughs> and trying to make this a nice album. Uh, this Christmas I'm going to Sweden with my fiancé and his mum and um, I'm going to try to make December... I'm trying to do a lot of things in December but at the same time relax. I've got two weeks off which is so nice. I can't believe I've got two weeks off. That is going to be lovely. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm celebrating Christmas, part of Christmas in Sweden, then coming back home to England, celebrating it with my fiance's family who's coming from uh, the US. So part of his family lives in the US. Um, in Idaho, Idaho, Idaho? I think it's Idaho. I'm not, no, in, oh my word, I've already forgotten where they live. I think it's Idaho, but it might have been somewhere else. Somewhere else. Um, it's definitely not Indiana, it's something with Idaho, something. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so it's going to be um, a lot of things happening in December. And I can't wait for it. And I'm going to use my lovely uh, DSLR camera to take a lot of pictures. 
and stuff like that. So hopefully I can fill this uh, album with a lot of lovely things. So yeah, this is my December daily and you will probably see a lot of updates in December and um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to put a little thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye bye.